What is happening YouTube? How y'all doing today? My name is Joe, just your average Joe hanging out in the garage. Uh, we got some comments to cover today. Uh, we got some sales to cover today. So we'll have, uh, I don't think this will be too, too long a video, but uh, we definitely got some things happening. So stick around. Uh, we'll cover comments and see where we go from there. We got some, another troll in the house, but uh, it's all right. Trolls help the, help the wheel turn as well so uh but hopefully you're doing well hopefully your sales are going well um i'm do i am seeing a, a bump and spike in sales since i started my sales promo my marketing discount uh or marketing promotion sales discount uh so yeah it's definitely starting to see some increase and bump up in traffic and sales offers and watchers and things like that so you know uh, i'm glad about that i'll just say that um Hopefully you're doing well. If you, if the storm, I know uh, we just, we're in North Carolina, the storms passed us. Uh, we'll have a little drizzles maybe, but we're pretty much done. And I know it's on its way up Philly, New York, Maine, Maryland, all that. So all y'all are getting hit up there now. So hopefully you're in that area. If you're watching and everything's good, you don't get too much flooding. Cause I know it's dumping a ton of water. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, if you're not on the East coast and haven't had to deal with the hurricane, hopefully everything is good in your neck of the woods. Uh, but again, my name is Joe, just your average Joe been reselling full time for eight, nine years. Uh, been on eBay buying and selling since 2000. So I've been around a while can certainly, uh, have a lot to share, have a lot to offer and, and also, uh, am willing to learn some new things too. So, um, by folks that have, you know, drop comments and, you know, I can, I can learn a thing or two as well, but, uh, let's go ahead and get started and get to, uh, comments and then we'll get to, uh, sales and, and, and we'll let you guys go for the day. So. Uh, first comment up was, uh, of course, Mr. Troll, John came through, John, I'm just going to start by saying, did your mom ever teach you if you got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Cause this certainly doesn't seem that way. You took time out of your day just to give me some garbage, honestly, is what you did and troll me. So, you know, at, at the end of the day, uh, Mr. John says, I came to see the reply to your comments and here we are 43 minutes of rambling nonsense, watching you search on eBay, random speculation, grant grumbles, even chatting about the weather. Yeah, we had a hurricane come through. If you don't like it, keep it moving boss. Like, come on, man. Uh, just unwatchable while well, you watched it. So thank you. <laughs> uh, fast forward so many times and came back to more rambling. Well, that's partly what we do around here. I'm a rambler. If you don't like it, keep it moving. I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but guess what? Some people like it. Some people don't. You don't like it. You don't have to be a jerk off and comment and be a douchebag. I mean, come on, just keep it moving. Keep scrolling. You don't like, and well, and I also say thank you for commenting because you helped my algorithm. Thank you for watching because you helped my algorithm. Thank you for fast forwarding because that helps my algorithm. So I appreciate you, John, uh, even though you're a troll and obviously you're a bit of a douchebag. And uh, you don't know how to keep your comments to yourself, because uh, guess what? Opinions and comments are like anything else. It's like ass, everybody's got an asshole. It's it, nobody gives a fuck. You know what I mean? Like I, I totally fucked that one up. Uh, 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 <laughs> opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one, but nobody gives a fuck. Uh, anyway, that's what I'm trying to say, John. I hope you have a wonderful day, man. Uh, if you want to troll me some more, I'll probably just delete your comment. So, you know, and, and I'm not going to hold back. This is my channel. I'll say whatever the heck I want to say. So at the end of the day, uh, rambling speculation, blah, 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 watching your search on eBay. I wasn't searching on eBay. I was, I was looking up the website that the dude was on, uh, whatever the buyer beware sites or whatever.org. So again, it, it, I'm just going to go back to, didn't your mom teach you? If you ain't got ni nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. We'll just leave it at that. So John, have a wonderful day, boss. Uh, Kurt says, yo, yo, average Joe, how do you know if all your sales were from promoted listings? Um, so you wouldn't have sold anything. Correct. All my stuff came from promoted listings. Yes, man, my lighting is terrible. There it is a little better. Um, yeah, it came from, if you actually go to eBay, your uh, orders, uh, I know you, I think you go on to mention that there's no, um, I feel like there's analytics or bullshit, just my opinion. I have never promoted an item and I don't have problems selling my inventory. Just buy good inventory and price accordingly to sold comps. I only have 200 active listings, 203 sold uh, for 14,200 in the last 90 days. Uh, come on, come on, Joe. Don't let the trolls get under your skin. Some people suck. Yeah, John suck. That's for sure. And the other trolls suck. What's up? That's fine. Did you have some cereal? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. Good. I, do, I just don't like the milk. It doesn't taste that good. I wonder if it's bad because this is the second time you said the milk doesn't taste right. I'm, I'll have to try the milk when I go in. Yeah. And 
I, it, I don't think it's expired. I don't Does this know. taste sour? No. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, okay. We'll figure that out. Okay. Um, like, I try to, to avoid the milk as much as I can. Okay. Because it tastes horrible. All right. Well, I'll check it because it shouldn't taste horrible. That means it's probably bad. Uh, we have another gallon of milk in this fridge, though. So if it's bad, we have we have fresh milk in here. Okay. Um, so, Kurt, a couple, couple things here. Um, yes, I guess I wouldn't have sold anything if I didn't have promoted listings up. Um, um, I do agree that the analytics are are not the greatest with eBay and are, are uh, off quite a bit uh, at times uh, or regularly, really. Uh, I've never promoted. Well, kudos to you if you don't promote listings. I, I probably wouldn't have to promote either if I competitively priced or just undercut the market. Uh, but I always go, I mentioned this before I go premium, you know, I, I go top of the lot, top of the market. So my stuff sits a little longer. Obviously now sales are slow, partly probably because I was, you know, high on a lot of stuff. Then when I put the marketing promotion out there and sales discounts, that's when I start to see a lot more pops because then my pricing comes down closer to competitive. Um, so I certainly could, could tweak the way I do things. That's for sure. I could probably price things a little lower not go so on the high side, move more inventory, have more cash flow. Um, I'm not desperate at the moment. Um, so I'm not, probably won't do that. Uh, not to say I won't try that or do that on some of my new stuff to see how it works. But at, and because obviously since January, it's been pretty, it's been just steadily decline. At one point before January, my 90 day total was like 35 grand, almost 35,000. And my sales, the number of items up matched pretty much my sales. I was, I was like, you know, so that was, that's, pretty much where you want to be. So you're doing amazing. Uh, right now my sales, um, where's my, I've, I sent myself my 90 days. So my 90 days is at right at 21,000 for the 90 days. And, uh, I've got six, six thirteen active with three ninety three ninety seven sold. So I'm, you know, obviously you know, I'm 200 and 200 and what 50 ish items, uh, or 230 ish items under what the, that 50, that, that, that even number of, like in your case, 200 and 200, uh, that's more so where I used to be. So again, I could certainly tweak some things, but again, I'm, you know, that's also why I'm not, I'm hesitant to cross platform and stuff like that. I'm not desperate at this point. I know, uh, some of the things I can tweak to make changes. A lot of it being the, you know, starting is the promoted discounts and, and, uh, and sales discount and, and a promoted listing and sales discounts that a lot of times helps get the pops that I need that I'm looking forward to get back on track. So, but, uh, I certainly could be more competitive in pricing. That's, that's for sure. Uh, instead of going premium. Uh, but I do feel like in cases like this, like I've got this, this switch that just sold, which we'll cover in a second. Like I bundle it with, and I clean them. And that's the same with all my systems. Like I clean them, I make them, you know, make sure they're good to go sanitized. You know, they come with all the little, you know, memory card and hookups and, you know, the disc drives cleaned out and everything sprayed out with compressor. So, you know, with my systems, I, I, I want a premium and I, I don't like to budge because I put so much work and effort. Now, if I decide to go lower and, and start undercutting the market, then I'm not going to put that much time into, into processing my systems. It's just not worth it. Then I'll just sell it as, you know, in decent condition, you know, need some cleaning, uh, you know, has some grime on it and, and list it as such and hope in, in hopes that they sell. But you know, so I'll probably move more, but I also have to be transparent. You know, a lot of systems you get are grimy and nasty. So, I would just have to list that that way. Now it would help me because I wouldn't have to uh, take so much time in processing because it does take a lot of time. It takes money to all those disinfectant wipes that you use to wipe everything, get everything nice and clean and all the controllers grime off the cracks and all that, you know, that stuff takes time. And I take pride in that because, and, and, I, and it shows my feedback. So as of right now, I'm going to kind of keep rolling and sailing the way I'm sailing, but that's not to say that you're not wrong. And I probably could make some tweaks there as well. But I also would need to make some tweaks on like my processing side of things too, because if I'm going to not get a premium for stuff, then I'm not going to put all the time and effort that I am or bundle it with everything, games, memory cards, uh, you know, SD cards, all the cords, connections, da, 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 HDMI cables, all that, you know, like there's a lot of sellers who just sell the system with a power cord and a controller and that's it. And, you know, so I, I you know, and, and they're not clean. And so anyway, I'm rambling to John's point, Mr. John, if you're still watching. You want me to try it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's bad. Oh, yeah. I can just tell by smelling it. Smell it. It's got a little sour smell to it. Yeah. So put that on the counter so I can, it reminds me to throw it away. 
And then I think there's another one in this fridge if you want to grab the other milk. It's fresh. Ooh, yeah, that's sour. That's souring for sure. Uh, is there not one in there? There is. Okay. But the dog. I know. I dropped it when I, I when we when we went shopping because of the hurricane and and I was getting wet and I ended up dropping it. I was remember I got soaked. I got drink. I got poured on. Remember? Yeah, you got. Yeah, it looked like I jumped in the lake. Yeah, it's like you were jumping in the lake when it was flooded. Yes. So, all right. Um. Yeah, so that's uh that's 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 what I got to say about that. All right, so next one, Winston says Joe's under siege by trolls. <laughs> you know, it's it is hey, they help the wheel go. They it's fine with me, man. Like I don't mind, and I and I like the fact that I can I can address the trolls live on the next video because I like talking shit. You know what I mean? Like, and it's 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 all in fun at the end of the day. I mean, John's obviously having a bad day. He's obviously just a sour puss, and you know he's he's not. You know, I I try to be more jovial and positive and you know, not be, not be, com, uh, com, uh, uh, what, what's the word, uh, conflict or bump heads or make comments that really don't matter that, that, that are just negative. Like that's not me. That's not in my DNA. That's not how I operate. Not to say I don't have a bad day and I may not say something off, off, off the side of my face sometimes, but we're all human, but you know, pretty much, you know, I try to be positive and be jovial and just be, be, try to be a good dude, man. Like there's no reason to be a douchebag like that. You know what I mean? You don't like what I put out there. Don't, don't, who care? Don't comment, keep it moving. Go to the next video and find something you do like instead of trolling on my stuff. Who cares? I don't, I'm just some average dude in his garage. So like you, you thanks for trying to beat up on me. Like it didn't affect me one bit. And then I can come back at you live and tell you, really tell you how I feel and give you that inflection and, and say everything that I feel like saying, which is great, instead of putting some some douchebaggery comment on there. Uh, anyway, um, Winston, you're the man. Uh, Warm Pig says, haven't done eBay promoted listings for years now, and not for years now, and not a change in sales. Still listing, selling the same amount each day consistently, maybe down a little. Uh, will come by, uh, but large part. Up day, may maybe a down day will come, but a large up day makes up for it. And in the end, uh, and the end of the year, sales are all good. I think promoted listings give a false idea that sales are better, giving eBay extra money for something that likely of that likely have sold eventually, anyways. That isn't to say promoted listings shouldn't be used in highly competitive markets, clothes, clothing. Uh, though for the slower moving items, uh, or for the slower moving items, people shouldn't just quit after losing one. So let me touch on that. Cause you put, you left a nice long comment. Um, promote, promote, I'm a, I'm a believer in promoted listings and, and sales discounts. Uh, but I also start on the high side. I'm also in a competitive market because most of my stuff is video games and that's a highly competitive market. So, um, it, again, it goes back to to each his own. I mean, I've seen a decrease since January. Um, it may be partly because I'm just overpriced and I do know the, the video game market's coming down. So maybe it's just me. I need to reevaluate to get my stuff back where it was. Um, but, you know, like I kind of like the same point with Kurt. So, um, you know, again, I can always look at myself and be like, you know, I'll probably need to go through the store and just drop prices, you know, 15% standard on most of my video game stuff. Because I, I, I even look at my price charting and my price charting for my collection is all just steadily coming down. Um, so a lot of the prices are kind of softening when it comes to video games. So, you know, definitely, definitely not wrong there. But I've always been a believer for promoted and sales discounts because it does get more eyeballs. It does. It, the minute you start it, you start seeing more, more flow, more, more traffic, more flow, more people, more sales. So, you, you know, I, I promise if you tried it, you'd probably be blown away and be like, dang. Like I'm already doing, you, you're already doing very well, obviously, uh, warm pig, but I promise if you started a promoted listing for even 5%, you would be probably amazed if you've never done it before and be like, wow, like my cash flow is even more now I'm selling even more stuff. I'm more stuff's popping now. So, um, again, to each his own, if you're doing well and your sales are good, you know, and things are rolling and things are driving and you know, you're good with where you're at and what things are happening, then stick with, stick with it, man. You ain't got to make any changes. So, uh, but everybody's situation is a little different. There's people that are having really bad time. I'm still pretty steady. I'm, I'm I've, I've softened a bit, but I'm still pretty steady. 
So, you know, that's why, I mean, I can't complain about eBay. I, I don't think I've ever really just sat and ranted about hating eBay or anything like that. It's all, always based off of people, people's negative comments. And I just kind of touch on it because I think eBay is great. Um, and obviously I operate and own and operate two businesses. So sometimes I, I do lack some on the eBay side. So that's going to affect my sales. I don't get as much stuff as I should. I'm not as consistent as I should, which is going to affect my sales, you know, because I've got another business that I got to focus on as well. So for me, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a constant battle teeter totter of, you know, focusing a little bit more on one and the other, trying to get it where it's even, but it's, it's hard to get there, you know, so it always tends to kind of tip and balance. So, um, but no, kudos to you if you don't have to use promoted. Uh, so he goes on to say also, um, people shouldn't, uh, just quit after losing one time on eBay. Everyone should be able to make far more money on eBay than they'd ever possibly lose hundred percent. That's why I said that you let that one sour taste ruin it for you. And think about all the sales you've left on the table. I think I said that on that video when that guy commented about uh, he's done with eBay. Um, I wouldn't quit selling uh, out of I wouldn't quit selling out of, out of my brick and mortar just because one person stole. Um, ha have to do your best to cover your losses and move on and keep making that money. You all you nailed it on the head. I think I mentioned it too. like Amazon, eBay or Amazon, uh, uh, Walmart. Those are all, you know, they think about how much money they lose in Yahoo customers and even brick and mortar. I mentioned as well, you know, you're going to have people steal stuff. You're going to have people try to scam you. So it doesn't matter where you're at. If you're on the seller, if you're a seller, you're always going to come across those douchebags. It's just, it's just going to happen. So you can't just shut down and be like, ah, I'm done, you know? So, cause you're leaving money on the table. You just got to keep grinding, keep, keep turning that wheel and keep pushing, keep moving, keep, keep on keeping on like Joe Dirt used to say, uh, or once said. Uh, you also have to learn that things could lead to potential problems with bad buyers. I've had vintage Star Wars figures with accessories and a buyer would open a return claim, no accessories and ship just the figure. Uh, now I no longer sell accessories where they are worth far more than the figures itself. Good point. You're not wrong. When it comes to like the old school toys and things like that, like some of the guns and accessories are worth way more than the figure. So that's, that's a, that's a good tip for sure. If you're into selling toys and I don't know where else you'd have accessories. I can't think off the top of my head, but toys is obviously a great example. So eBay is dead to those people because they put in 10, they put up 10 items with little to no sell through rate and expect daily sales. That isn't to say eBay isn't losing buyers though. And, <clears throat> and I get a lot of hate for this, but it's because of bad sellers leading to bad buying experiences uh, to newer customers. Man, you nailed it on the head, man. Uh, Warm Pig, uh, thank you for that. Or War Pig, thank you for that uh, comment. You are 100% correct. There's a lot of, sh in fact, I was watching a video last night, another YouTuber who was talking about the, the new generation that's selling on the platform and how they take pictures of their items on their bed, fuzzy, hazy, dog hair all over it and expect to sell stuff. You know, like, you're not wrong. And then obviously on the back end, if there's problems, they're not trying to take care of the customer because their point, the, the, the first point of contact should always be the seller. When you have a problem, allow the seller to try to fix it. Well, if they can't fix it, then you need to, then you, then you get eBay and you open a case or whatever, you know, whatever situation is with eBay, but it should always, number one rule should always be. And I hate when people just open a case instead of reaching out to me first, when there's an issue, because I, I nine times out of 10, I'm going to take care of the 10 times out of 10, I'm going to take care of the customer to some degree. You know what I mean? But that's the difference between folks like us that take care of their customers and provide a good, a great uh, purchasing and buying experience, fast shipping. That's, I get it all the time. My feedback speaks for itself. 99.9%, .9 one negative feedback in the last 600, 700 transactions. You know, like I've had some, quite a few neutrals, but you can't, you can't please everybody. And they weren't negative. They were neutral, whether I think one guy was uh, something wasn't as clean as he thought it was going to be or whatever the case is, you know? So, I mean, you know, some stuff is perception based, some stuff people are just picky, but at the end of the day, 99.9% .9 of my customers are having a good purchasing experience experience. And that's because I'm providing that eBay gives the platform, but I'm still the seller providing that experience. And so when you have some douchebag that has horrible customer service skills, has horrible communication skills, doesn't follow up on messages, ignores the customer, doesn't, you know, list the stuff wrong, doesn't detail the, 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 the item, uh, um, flaws, doesn't describe the item. Well, whatever the case is, man, 
you know, those are all, that's all part of the puzzle. It's all part of the wheel, man. And so if you're not doing a good job there, absolutely. You, you nailed it on the head, man. So appreciate that comment. That's a good comment, War Pig. Um, all right, let me thumb up that one and heart it as well. Um, next one was uh, Dave, David uh, Coletti. Uh, David Coletti. Let me reply to you as well. And then let me read your comment here. Reply. So David Coletti, when the person, when, when the person commented on eBay is dead, I think he was meaning it's slower sales for most sellers, uh, resellers may, maybe why like you, a lot more people are using promotions. Uh, whereas in the past it wasn't necessary. I'll pause there. I've always used promotions. <laughs> I've used promos for a long, long time. Whenever things are slowing down a little bit, I always pump up a promo and things like that. But, but you're not wrong. I would say more and more people are starting to use it now. Yes because ebay does have more competition so more eyeballs are other places so it's a good way to get more eyeballs on your stuff through the platform and then now they have the external option as well where you can get your stuff on the outside of ebay as well which is which is i haven't done that one yet um i commented before the economy is slow less discretionary spending to all consumers uh there already are maxing out credit cards higher prices for food shelter insurance higher property taxes health care so on so on your optim your your op optimism is uh condemnable but reality will kick in uh and your next sourcing and your next sourcing at yard sales will be uh for dusters because your inventory will be sitting <laughs> a long time maybe you're right maybe you're wrong you know it is i'm sure you know that's there's always ebb and flows with economy and purchasing consumer side of stuff you're not wrong um uh, but i i do think you're wrong with the 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 i mean my inventory some of it sits and some of it moves. I mean, it just is what it is. So, um, um, happens to go fast. Let's see, because your inventory has, will be sitting for a long time. Uh, it happens too fa that fast. I'm 61 young man saw this many times in my life, sudden job losses, defaults and car loans, foreclosures, collection companies, calls, credit card payments. Um, you think it's not happening, but all means, uh, by all means out of date on this, is in the business news and our government economic sites. And I don't just watch CNBC. Um, everything is, uh, is rosy to them. Thank you and do what you can to support your family. I'm sure you will. Well, you know, again, that's why I've got two businesses because if I just relied on eBay, I would definitely be on whatnot. I'd be on cross listing. I'd be doing a lot more to hustle to get stuff out of here. So the fact that I have two and operate two businesses, as I mentioned before, gives me that luxury to kind of let off the pedal a little bit here, not be desperate over here. You know, same thing with my other company. If once I things slow down over there a little bit, I can ramp up eBay and, and not, not have, I'm not desperate. So, you know, and then my wife operates and owns our thrift store. So, you know, we also have a brick and mortar thrift store. So there's a little, not a ton of revenue from there, but we do get a little bit of revenue. That's more for the community. Really. Uh, it's kind of like a hobby for her at this point, but you know, we may make a little bit, few bucks on that at the end of the month, but not a ton, but, um, at the end of the day, you're, you know, you're right and you're wrong. I mean, uh, you know, you, you, you can be this, you, you can be right and wrong in the same breath. And I think you're right and wrong altogether. So, um, but I appreciate you watching David. Thank you so much for your comments. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, uh, after this next election, we start to see things change a bit, you know, I mean, that's, that's, you know, all, all we can hope for and, and, or things may just continue to be the same and, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm not big into politics. Uh, I, politics brings out the worst in people. My mom always said, don't talk about politics in public. So I don't, I don't go there, but at the end of the day, um, hopefully there's some good positive changes that happens to our economy and, uh, and the way things, the way things are going, well, whether it's a Democrat or a Republican that's in office, hopefully things will, will continue to just get a little bit better. They, they can't continue to get worse. Um, and I wouldn't say things are really bad people are still i mean i get the credit card part and all that stuff but that's always been a problem people have always had that issue so if you go back in time that's always been an issue for folks you know they just you hear more about it because of the news and people want to gaslight stuff and put stuff out there just to just to get people worried and this is all this is all rinse and repeat all the same stuff's happened back in the nine if you, you said you're 61 this this has happened in the 80s and the 90s the 2000s and the 70s and the 60s it's just now media outlets and news sources and things like that. And social media amplifies stuff and makes people, you know, it puts it out there. Like, you know, 
so we hear more about it and we think there's more of a problem now than there ever used to be. You know, it's just more people have access to, to news and or social media and they hear and then they repost and they repost and they repost and then more people see the, the crap and all the, 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 the fake news and believe it's real. And it's just, it's so bad out there now, man. It's so bad. So I, I don't necessarily think, um, things are as bad as folks think. I do. I know recently they started talking about the R word again, recession again, and stuff like that. You hadn't heard about it in months. And all of a sudden you're starting to hear about it again. Well, what's changed in the past six months, nothing. <laughs> but now all of a sudden recession is coming back into play because job market, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, it's always been that man. It's been that way. It's always ups and downs. So, you know, it does it affect our sales. Yeah, to some degree. I'm not going to. That's why I said you're right and you're wrong on the same breath. You know, they, they, absolutely. Am I going to our yard sales going to dry up and I'm going to just be selling dust busters or whatever you put it? No. Or dusters? No. <laughs> to, to, to clean up my inventory because my stuff sits so long? Absolutely not. That's not going to be the case. I can tell you what happens when a, if the economy is shittier and is bad, you're going to see a lot more yard sales and people trying to get rid of stuff to to make a dollar to. You know what I mean? Because they want to, they, they got stuff laying around that they want to make money on. So it goes back to in a bad economy, people like me also do well because you can pick stuff up cheaper. I mean, I hate to say it, but people are more desperate to get rid of stuff because they need to make a dollar to pay rent this month or whatever the case is. And so they don't have time to sit for a month or two or three to let stuff sit to sell it at premium or, or, or what it retails for. They're, they're, you know, I'm gonna get rid of this $300 item for hundred bucks. Cause I, I just need, I need a hundred dollars for gas or for food or for whatever, you know, that's, that's, it's, it's always been the case. So, you know, resellers will be able to make better margins in a lot of cases when that happens. And you're not wrong either saying stuff may sit longer. Again, it's like I said, you're right and wrong in the same breath. I'll stop rambling. We'll keep it moving. Justin says, um, uh, thanks for sharing. I think I need to improve the sourcing, sourcing boxes cheaply. Justin, my biggest thing with that is uh, family, friends, people, you know, let them know what you do. If you haven't done that already, you may have already done that and get boxes and stuff from your friends and family. Um, that's probably where I get probably half of my packing supplies. Like this bin right here is all, um, it's a bin full of just bubble, bubble wrap and stuff like that. And then extra uh, padded envelopes and, you know, things that, People have, you know, that know that I resell that kind of keep it and then, uh, you know, we, we sync up and they give it to me. Um, so that way I can reuse it and keep it out the landfill. Uh, and then I also purchase some stuff too. Like, obviously, I do purchase some supplies. Uh, like, I'll pur I bought these from eBay uh, for like 25 bucks for like 20 about five boxes. It was like a buck a box or something like that, or maybe 70, 80 cents a box. I forget what, what, it, what, what it broke down to. Um, and those will last me probably six months or so, but, uh, you know, I do buy some, not much. I got American bubble boy. Why is my camera so far down? Um, I do have like the American bubble boy, um, pack of, of packing a uh, bubble wrap up here that I bought, but then, you know, I try to get through this stuff first, all the stuff that I get through family and friends. So I got a ton of boxes over here that are not broken down that I need to break down because it's just creating clutter in my garage, but that's how it is right now. It's, it's just organized madness. Uh, I guess kind of organized madness, but, uh, so anyway, yeah, I would say that's probably, that's how I do it. I can only speak on how I do it, but, uh, family members and friends. All right, let's go ahead and jump into sales. So, um, I had again, sales have picked up. If you've been watching sales been slow, uh, but starting to pick up and I'm going to credit it to pr promoted listings and, and, uh, sales discount. So eight items sold for 40285, not too bad. Um, I think I mentioned this already. I sold a, uh, I got like seven of them, uh, Nintendo switch, probably all priced a little high. So I need to probably go through, well, obviously now they're on a promotion, so I should start moving some of them. Uh, but switch with all the bells and whistles, controller, memory card, um, your joy con controller, uh, obviously the dock, the charger, all that good stuff. Very, very nice condition. So that sold for 212 uh, plus shipping. Uh, sold Sims 2 and Tomb Raider. Sims 2 and Tomb Raider. Let's see. Sims 2 and Tomb Raider. Let's find Tomb Raider. In fact, I sold a few. I sold that one too. We'll go ahead and grab them since I'm here, the ones I remember. 
Let's see, Tomb Raider. Uh, sold that one, Sonic. So there's that. Let's get Tomb Raider out of here. There's Tomb Raider. I think that was it. I think that was it. We'll see. All right. So <clears throat> Sims Pets on GameCube sold for $13. Oh, I got a new offer on a PlayStation 4. There you go. Uh, Pets 2 on GameCube sold for $13. Free shipping on that one. Um, Tomb Raider. Let me check the disc, make sure it looks pretty good. <sighs> looks pretty good. Uh, Tomb Raider sold for $8.50. Got on a promo, promo $8.50, free shipping on that one. So I'll, I'll make a whopping like $2. Um, next one that sold was JSRF Jet Set Radio and uh, Sonic GT sold for $11, free shipping, disc only. So there's that one. I'll make sure that disc looks pretty good. All right, and uh, let's see. Next one was Sonic Unleashed for Xbox 360. Sold for $10 free shipping or $9.99 free shipping. So there's that one. Sure, that one is. Sometimes when I look at it in the light when I'm listing it, I miss some things, so I try to look at it again. Uh, next thing that sold was Adventure on... on Atari and let's see my green Game Boy. I think this is the second time this Game Boy sold. I had a return on it because the guy just was like, oh, I just didn't feel like playing it like I thought I was going to play it. So he returned it. But anyway, Game Boy reshelled green sold for $68 plus shipping. Um, let's see. Adventure Atari sold for $9, nine nine dollars nine nine thirty plus shipping it was on a on a discount so nine thirty plus shipping and then a harley davidson a harley davidson shirt sold for thirteen dollars plus shipping let me see if it's in here if not then it's going to be hanging up so i don't want to take a ton of your time looking for clothes clothes are always a pain have i ever said clothes are a pain man Clothes are a pain. Um, if I had more room, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. But even the ones on the rack, I always tend to have a harder time. All right, so it's not in there. All right, let me look through my rack here one moment. Uh, I do have a lot of winter stuff. So hopefully come winter time, uh, I start selling more clothes because they are slow moving. But again, it goes back to I, I put them up for a premium. And uh, that again... That may not be the best strategy, but that's that's how I do it. And I may make some tweaks. We'll see. This is a black shirt. It shouldn't be too hard to find. All right. I'm going to uh, not waste y'all's time. This over here. And I don't uh, Nope down there nope all right i'll find it later it's a harley davidson uh, raw, uh just a harley davidson shirt i've got a, a bunch of them it's it's got the harley logo and then it's from uh ray price raleigh or ray price harley in raleigh so but again that's sold for 13 dollars plus shipping so that's it guys um that's all i got for y'all today um i'll be back tomorrow so we got sales i'll be back tomorrow so if you have any qu any uh, comments you want to drop again i'll make sure i address those tomorrow in the next one john if you want to reply and be nice i mean that's fine too if you don't like my stuff then don't watch i don't care uh but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff packed up and get uh get this out for my mail lady and that's it for me have a wonderful rest of your day again hopefully your sales are going well and we'll see you on the next one